Let's add in our last jumbo marshmallow. And then we're gonna go ahead and add about one cup of Fruity Pebbles cereal. Now let's go back in with some more of those marshmallows. And now we're gonna top this off with a little bit more of that cereal. And before we pop this in the oven, I'm just gonna take a few pieces of butter and I'm just gonna place those right on top. Okay, now this is ready to be baked at 350 degrees. And now with a spatula and some patience, we're gonna mix all this together. All right, now we're gonna take some of that mixture and we're gonna place it in the bottom of our springform pan. All right, this is perfect now. Okay, now we need to take our mixture and then we're gonna put it over here in our marshmallow cereal mixture that we made. All right, this looks perfect, but we need to put it back in the freezer for about three to four hours. Oh yeah. Perfectly set. Let's see it. Here we go. Oh, wow. So pretty. That looks so good. Right? That's actually amazing. Pop our egg in the middle, take the other half, and close it up. Add it to our flour, and you're just going to want to make sure the whole thing is covered with the flour. Now we're going to take it out, put in our egg wash. There we go. Now we have our egg all over our avocado. Now pop it into the breadcrumbs. Beautiful. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, time to deep fry this. Throw it in. Gently. Nice. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. So let's take it out. Let's do it. That's perfect color. Wow, that looks so good. That looks amazing. <laughs> okay, that looks great. Now let's cut into it. Let's do it. Nice. Gently. Woo! Wow. Wow, that looks so good. That's actually so good. That's so bomb. We're gonna start by cracking a large egg and then just pour that right into your muffin pan. Now I'm just gonna cut up some turkey pepperoni slices. I'm gonna take that chopped pepperoni and just place it on top of our egg. Now on top of that, we're gonna add some finely chopped green peppers. And I'm also going to add in just a few chopped mushrooms. And on these eggs, we're just gonna do a few chopped zucchinis and some beautiful red bell peppers and top that off with some green onions. And on these ones, we're gonna start with some finely chopped broccoli and a few chopped red onions and a few lovely orange peppers. In these last three, we're just gonna do a little bit of everything. Now to season our eggs, I'm just gonna start with a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper and some garlic and herb seasoning. And then we're just gonna top these off with some cheddar cheese. And on these ones, I'm gonna do some mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna finish these off with some freshly chopped parsley. And I'll be cooking these for exactly 20 minutes. Ooh, smells amazing. It's gonna be a hard yolk because we did cook it for 20 minutes. Ooh. That is so good. We're gonna start by pulling the meat back, just like that. And we're gonna put it over here with the rest. Now it's time to season our chicken and I'm just using a variety of fragrant spices. And then I'm just gonna dust these all over our chicken. Just gonna kind of rub them against each other. Now we're gonna take one drumstick at a time and I'm starting with some cornstarch. Just wanna get that cornstarch all over the chicken. And we're gonna take this and go for a swim in our egg wash. Just roll it around a little bit. And I'm gonna take this and put in our breadcrumbs. And then we're just gonna get that all over. And we're gonna put it over here on a clean plate for now. We're just gonna take these one at a time and gently place them in here. There we go. One more over here to put. There we go. So now I'm just gonna let these cook for a few minutes. Just gonna start taking them out. Put that over here for now. Now we're gonna take our drumsticks one at a time and dip it in that lovely sauce that we made. Wow, that's amazing. Let's start with some Velveeta cheese. And all around that cheese, we're gonna add a full box of elbow macaroni. So I'm just pouring in four cups of heavy cream. And for a little bit of flavor, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of paprika. Now it's time to add in some freshly shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm also going to add in some grated marble cheddar cheese. Okay, before we pop this in the oven, I'm just gonna take a full stick of butter that I've cut up into little cubes, and I'm just gonna place that right on top of the cheese. And we're gonna bake this for 35 to 40 minutes until all that cheese gets nice and melted. All right, now we need to mix this. Okay, now we're gonna take that beef that we cooked earlier, and we're just gonna add that all in there. There we go, let's smooth that out a little bit. Okay, now to top everything off, I'm just gonna take some shredded cheddar cheese. Look at that. That's perfect. That is so delicious. We're going to start by adding our eggs to a baking sheet. 
and I've just sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil so nothing sticks. A couple more to go here. There we go, perfect. Now I'm gonna take the little pieces of butter and just place them in between the eggs. And we're gonna create some of that all over the eggs. Get it on the butter as well. And now I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna use some orange cheddar cheese this time. Okay, now I'm gonna take some finely chopped red peppers and I'm gonna sprinkle those all over our eggs and cheese and butter. And on top of that, we're gonna add some chopped chives. Now it's time to season our eggs. And I'm just starting with a little bit of salt. And after that salt, I'm gonna do a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. And last but not least, some dried parsley. And we're gonna be baking this for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Oh yeah, these look like they cooked perfectly. Now let's cut a piece out. So good. Let's start with a bag of Doritos and we're gonna smash them into small pieces. We're gonna go ahead and pour them out. Now we're just gonna spread this out, going all the way to the edges. Now for our second layer, we're gonna add that well-seasoned ground beef. And then we're just gonna spread that out on top of those Doritos. And now we just need to pour our sour cream and salsa mixture all over that beef. And then we're just gonna gently spread that out going all the way to the edges. All right, now on top of that sour cream and salsa, we're gonna add a generous amount of mozzarella cheese. All right, let's just spread that out a little bit going to the edges. Now we're gonna smash another bag of Doritos. Now let's pour our second bag out for our final layer. And then we're just gonna spread that out. Okay, now for the final layer, I'm gonna take some butter, which I've just cut up into little cubes, and one more in the middle here. And you just want to cook this for about 20 minutes. Let's take our Dorito pie out. Ooh, that cooked nicely. Ta-da! Wow! That is so yummy. We're going to start with one block of feta cheese. And then we're going to go ahead and add in four cups of cherry tomatoes. Next, I'm going to add in some peeled garlic cloves. I'm just going to place those all on top of our tomatoes. And on top of that, we're going to add some little pearl onions. Now we're just gonna drizzle everything with some good virgin olive oil. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle the feta cheese with some crushed pepper flakes. Last but not least, I'm just gonna add in some fresh thyme and one at the front over here. All right, now we need to put this in the oven and we're gonna cook it for 20 to 30 minutes. All right, it's time to take this out. And we had it cooking for 30 minutes. Mmm, smells amazing. Oh yeah. Let's break that up a little bit. Oh yeah, those tomatoes cooked perfectly. And now we're gonna add in some cooked pasta. And then we're gonna mix that all in with the feta, tomato, garlic, and onion. And a little bit of fresh parsley. That is so good. We're just going to layer our last one in here, just like that. Now we're just going to layer the bottom with some shredded cheddar cheese. Now I'm going to add in some taco seasoned ground beef. Okay, now I'm gonna take the end pieces of the tortilla and just place those right on top of the ground beef. Now on top of those, we're just gonna add some Monterey Jack cheese. Now for our next layer, we're just gonna lay down some tortilla chips just on top of that cheese. And now we're just gonna take a few more of those end pieces and place them on top of the Tostitos. For our last layer, we're just gonna start again with that cheddar cheese. Now we're gonna go back in with that ground beef and then top that off with some more of that Monterey Jack cheese. Now we're gonna finish this off with a few more of those end pieces. Take our last one. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 and we're gonna cook it for 45 minutes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. It looks like it's coming off. There we go. Wow. That turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Wow. <laughs> There's just a big hole in there. <laughs> that looks so good though, either way. That's amazing. We're gonna start with one block of feta cheese and one block of goat cheese. Next, I'm gonna add in some pasta. And I'm just using a full box of small pasta shells. Now we're going to take some shredded mozzarella cheese and just add that all over the pasta. Let's throw in a couple of tablespoons of garlic, one more over here, and a whole chopped white onion. Now I'm just going to add in four cups of milk and you can use whatever liquid you like. Now we're going to take a full jar of tomato basil pasta sauce and I'm just going to pour that all over here. And we're going to pop this in and we're going to cook it for 50 minutes. Ooh, that Ooh. looks good. Nice and bubbly. Let's give this a good mix. I'm going to start in the edges, get everything nice and mixed, get our feta and goat cheese mixed in. Okay, this is looking great. I just want to flatten it all out. We're going to top this off with some more of that mozzarella cheese. Ooh. Going to add a nice layer of this on top. 
You just wanna completely cover all that pasta with the cheese. So I know how much you love pasta, and I know how much you love pizza. So I found a recipe where you combine both. What, so it's a pizza pasta? That's right, and there we go. We're gonna just do our last row over here. We just wanna cook those pepperonis up a little bit. Let that cheese melt. Ta-da! What? There we go. Wow. That is amazing.